NCAA Conference Champion Week for men's and women's swimming and diving. I'm joined now by head coach Pat Mead. Coach, how excited are you guys for this championship meet? We're excited. You know, this is, this is what we work for. And we've got three days of doing nothing, just kind of fine tuning and kind of go down and let things rip. So we're ready. Now, we've been talking the last couple weeks, and last week you guys didn't quite have all your spots set up. Who stepped up in practice and who made those final slots? We made some changes. Um, you know, Mariana Kogut um, and Amanda Barber are two people that, uh, that made the squad that I don't think people going into it thought um, they were going to be there. But, you know, we did some stuff last week. People started to look a little bit better. You know, it's not really that anyone's looking bad, but, you know, give you an example on Saturday, we put up Amanda Barber in a 53, and her best time this year in a meet is a 24 3. And she went 24 3 at the end of practice in two suits off the blocks. That's got to tell us that she's going to go pretty fast next week. Mariana Koh gets another one. Body position just kind of changing, looking real crisp in the water. And we know what she's done in years past. So, you know, obviously we have some people that are a little upset that, that they, you know, they didn't make the CAA team. But they still have the opportunity to go to ECACs. This is probably the best squad we've ever sent down to ECACs. There's 30, uh, 13 women going down there, and we've got all five divers going. So, um, you know, there's no excuse as to why both don't get the job done. Now the women's team has been notably very, very good these last five, six years. Well, how important would it be or how important to the legacy would it be if they come home with another championship? I think it'd be great. You know, it'd be great for them. They put the work in. Um, I think our alumni are expecting that. I think our um, parents are expecting it. The coaches are expecting it. But the reality is that the conference is a whole lot stronger this year. This is a, a different team. It's a different conference. Um, we've done the work. The, the key right now is for the women to believe that they can actually do this. And if they go in with that type of attitude, um, there's really no reason why we don't come home with another championship. There's going to be a fight, though. They'll have to battle. Now, the men's team hasn't had quite the success that the women have in previous years. What do you expect them to do down there at George Mason for the tournament or meets? Well, you know, the biggest thing with the men is, you know, we've looked at our seed times, and this is the highest we've ever had any of our kids in the seedings. And normally we outdo our seeds. And so we've done the scoring, we scored our points. You know, last year we scored 152 points at the meet. With, based on just our seedings, if we hold our seeds, our guys can actually end up with like 356 points, which will be the most points that the guys have scored in the last four years. So our goal is to go down and, un, you know, first and foremost, put up lifetime best swims. Every single guy that swims, put up lifetime best swims. Outside of that, we want to get people in finals, and we'd love to actually, you know, score as many points so that we can say, hey, in the last four years, we've never been over 300 points. We are now. That will actually, I think, do a lot to show our alumni we're moving in a different direction. And without a doubt, it's going to help with recruiting because our recruits are going to look and say, okay, they are rebuilding.